What's going on everybody, this is Alex KGB. So Bethesda released patch 8.5 for Fallout 76 and I have mixed feelings about that patch. Well, first of all, there were some changes that were not listed in the patch notes and one of them is pretty big. It's Watoga Legendary Grinding Nerf. So they removed the legendaries from the robots spawning at Watoga and that kind of sucks because that was one of my favorite places where you would farm legendaries, you could get lethal on the way and steal and they would not attack you. So it was very easy to do that on repeat uh, hunting for the legendaries. Well, now it's gone and question is why it was never mentioned. It was a big part of a grinding experience. Uh, the other thing that was in this patch is the new quest uh, and new feature, the bucket list. And if you can have a camera now and take pictures, not of yourself or running around taking pictures of whatever you want. Honestly, for me, it's not a big deal at all. I'm not going to be doing this quest. I'm not interested in it. Um, but I will provide link to the Reddit in the description where you can see where the corpse spawning, uh, the locations, uh, the best way to find that corpse where you, that will give you that quest is just go to one spot and server hop until it appears. I'm not really interested in that. If you're interested in that, fine, just go get the, read the articles, do the quests, get the rewards. Um, the biggest thing that I am concerned about is the repair kit. Now, I do find it being beneficial uh, in the gameplay if you're focused on grinding like I am. So I build it a yeah, new character in the process. I already got my ultra sight armor uh, from the quest belly of the beast and a lot of parts of that armor are broken and they require a lot of details. They requ require a lot of materials to be fixed. So I don't really have much time going around grinding for the materials in order to repair the armor and I had some extra atoms so I did get the kit. I got a bundle for the kit. I, I had several repair kits. Now I don't think it's too hard to get those atoms in the game during the game process and some of the quests will reward you 80 atoms which is a good amount. So they're affordable. You don't really need to go and spend real money on buying those repair kits. And I did find them very useful while repairing high cost power armor, which I wouldn't really have time to repair going for the materials or it would take time away from farming and grinding. The other thing though was this um, repair kit. It does help a lot. It does, but uh, you will be depleting your atoms a lot faster because you might get used to the repair kit. It's just convenient to use and you're going to buy it. And then when a cool uh, piece of armor drops like today, and it's, I think, 1400 atoms right now. So you kind of by the time something get released, if you didn't get enough atoms through the game process, by playing the game, you spend a lot of it on the repair kits. You will probably have to spend real money to get that cool looking power armor. On one hand, it is very useful, especially when you have in multiple characters and you focused on bringing a certain build like I am, and all you do is level up and grind for legendaries. The repair kit is useful. You don't want to go and search for flux or other materials, not as of right now. All you want to do is kill legendaries and loot legendary items, meanwhile getting level. In the process so it was helpful and i i'll be honest with you i will be using this a lot but on the other hand i do understand the problem with this so it's opening a door into microtransactions and pay to win and that's probably what's going to happen eventually people will start buying it you can say as much as you want the whole radio is talking about not buying the repair kit it's not going to happen people are going to use it because it's a convenient item it is and then, uh, funny how Bethesda said inside the Vault article, we want the feedback of the community. Uh, do we want to put those items in or not? But it had received a reply for the community. Uh, the whole Reddit was outraged. They said, no, don't put it in. They did it regardless. That's, that's not really what they wanted to do. They kind of hide in it, uh, but they had the agenda of putting it from the very beginning. When they did the White Knight nerf for no reason, to make your power armor break faster and probably they will uh, tweak also durability uh, there was also talk about you know the food is spoiling faster now but then a convenient item as a fridge coming uh, soon or probably will come so you see what they're doing they nerfing the perks they nerfing the items they nerfing the time life of food their 
uh, another from the perks that keep your items at good condition and the adding purchasable convenient items convenience items in the store so i don't think that's a very good business practice it's basically forcing player base who are lazy like me um, just to spend money on those tools well and the last thing that definitely i am all for is the new power armor skin the plug plug it rider uh, it looks awesome and there we know there are more to come there are going to be four of those i uh, can't wait to see them all and i think if bethesda really 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 wanted to make a lot of money on this game they should be focused on creating the skins like that quality skins rare skins uh that look good it's not just a change of a color it actually reskin and it looks really really good in the game to sum up i have really mixed feelings about this patch leave in the comments how do you feel about the repair kit and the patch overall and direction game is staking right now this was alex kgb thanks for watching and bye bye